So you want to become a data analyst? In this video, let me give you the best tech stack to become a data analyst in 2024. Let's go. My name is Chandu and I have been working as a data analyst for the last 16 years. My last job is a principal data analyst with the New Zealand government here in Wellington. I have categorized this into seven areas or seven technologies. It might sound like a lot, but you don't need to learn all of these. You just need to pick a couple of them and be really good in them and then kind of get familiar with the rest. So let's go into them. The first one is obviously not a surprise. It's Microsoft Excel. This is because Excel continues to be the number one software when it comes to performing many kinds of data analysis, both ad hoc as well as serious. When it comes to Excel, the most important things that you need to learn are how to get the data into Excel. This is where Excel's Power Query feature is quite popular and used by data analysts these days. And the second thing is how to work with Excel tables. So once the data comes into Excel, a table is the natural place for the data. So you need to understand how to use tables, how to work with structural referencing and many of the other features of table. Excel has many formulas too for working with the data, but in my opinion, just understanding the basic formulas like the lookups and conditional sum formulas is enough to get you started. The other more important aspect of data analysis in Excel is to understand how to use pivot tables. In most of my projects, whenever I'm facing data situations, I would simply set up a pivot table and go from there. So learn how to set up pivot tables, how to use Power Pivot, how to work with many of the advanced features of pivot tables if you want to use Excel for data analysis work. The last two things in the Excel area are how to create charts and how to share your Excel workbooks with others in the team and how to maintain the spreadsheets. While most of these things sound like basic Excel skills, you would be surprised how many data analysts struggle to use Excel at this level. That's why I recommend giving enough time and learning Excel properly so that you can shine at your work. Now let's move on to the second technical stack item. This is working with the databases and using SQL. As a data analyst, you would be working with data. And where do you find this data? in databases, data warehouses, data lakes, obviously. And SQL is the number one way to get the data out of these places and use it for data analysis. For me, the most important areas of SQL are how to use the select statement, how to set up various conditions and how to set up joins. As long as you're comfortable with these things and you can self learn the remaining bits, you should be able to work as a data analyst. Another powerful alternative to SQL is the Power Query feature. You can use it in both Excel and Power BI, which I'm going to talk in a minute. And using Power Query, you can replicate many of the SQL things. All right, let's get into the third aspect of my technology stack, a data analysis slash business intelligence technology. Here, we're primarily focusing on tools like Power BI or Tableau, but whatever things that I'm mentioning, they apply to pretty much any technology. So when it comes to something like Power BI, you want to learn five main things. These are how to clean the data using software like Power Query, or if you're using Tableau, then how to clean the data in that. The second thing is how to do the data modeling. This is because many times the business data analysis doesn't really happen in a single table. You may have to get data from multiple parts and synthesize them to get a holistic view of the data. So understanding how to do data modeling is really important. And the third thing is how to do calculations. In Power BI, we use DAX for this, but if you're using Tableau, then figuring out how to set up calculated fields, columns, and using the LODs is really important. The fourth aspect is how to prepare data visualizations. Now data visualizations themselves are kind of like a mix of technology and art. So there is a lot of technical skill involved when it comes to creating data visualizations, like understanding how to set up various kinds of charts, how to create interactions, how to use slicers, bookmarks, etc. But there is also a lot of art involved. You want to be 
confident in these tools so that you can express yourself creatively and elevate above the rest in your organization so that whenever somebody looks at a report or a page that you created, they'll be like, wow, I like this. I like where this data analysis is going. So this is where having that confidence will help you go into that self-expression mode. And the fifth aspect is how to share the work. This is because business intelligence tools like Tableau and Power BI have a lot of sharing capabilities. So you want to understand how to create the work, how to give it to the right audience, how to set up securities, role-based access, how to create alternative views for desktop and mobile consumption. All of those things come in really handy. The fourth area of your technology stack is learning business math. Don't confuse this with high school level math or college level math. Business math is understanding how mathematics and statistical concepts apply to the real world in the business data analysis situations. The three main things that I would focus on are how to do basic statistical analysis on any kind of data that is an understanding the data, looking at distributions, calculating various statistical measures, etc. The second one is hypothesis testing. That is, if you believe something is to be true, looking at the data, how would you test that? So how would you build the hypothesis? What kind of tests are you going to perform? And how are you going to come to the conclusion? And the third thing is business model building. A simple example for this is, let's say you are given chocolate sales of awesome chocolates for the last one year, and you are asked to forecast how many chocolates we're going to sell in the next quarter. So you want to build a model that will tell you the answer. So how would you go about it? What sort of mathematical concepts are you going to use? What sort of business concepts are you going to use? All of that will fall into this bucket. As you can see, this is not exactly a technical skill. While there is technologies that you could use to do all of this work, you will need to know the necessary foundational concepts. So learn a little bit more about how to do some of these things and figure out what else you need to know based on the jobs that you are applying for or the jobs that you're going to do. The fifth area of the technology stack, and I feel like this is an optional thing, so you can skip this and still be a good data analyst in my, my opinion, is coding skills. When it comes to data analysis work, the primary coding skills that people expect to have are either Python or R language. Specifically within Python, we are essentially talking about using certain libraries and concepts like NumPy, Date, Pandas, and Scikit-learn, and Seaburn, etc. So that you could do the data analysis work, create visualizations, create models, and publish the results. That said, there are alternatives to these languages as well. So if you're not too comfortable or you don't want to get into that space, you could also do some of that using other languages like VBA and do the calculation stuff through DAX, maybe even SQL and do the data collection cleansing parts through Power Query, etc. So pick a lane that you feel comfortable with and stick to it. But once you're confident in something, let's say you choose to learn DAX instead of Python, once you're comfortable with the DAX, then you have the free time. So then maybe you can go on and learn Python or R so that you will open yourself up for more opportunities. The sixth technological stack is business tools. The main tools are how to use the email application like Outlook, how to create presentations through something like PowerPoint, and then how to use a collaborative work environment like SharePoint or OneDrive or something else that your organization might use. How to use a project management version controlling tools it's like GitHub uh, and you know other kinds of project management tools because many times as a data analyst you will be working in a project and you may have to share your code, notebooks, etc. with others and collaborate and version control them. So all of these will come in handy. And the other thing that is also important in the business tools area is automation. You don't want to do the same kind of work every month if you're creating similar data analysis. So you'll need to figure out how to automate some of the boring and repetitive aspects of your work using business tools. My favorite tool for all of this automation kind of thing is Power Query, but also Power Automate. So I would use both of these to automate many of the repetitive things in my workflow so that I can focus on more important tasks as a data analyst. 
and the last one and this is kind of become more and more relevant these days are the ai tools while there is a lot of talk and hype about artificial intelligence based tools that that are going to completely replace us as data analysts i don't think we are there quite yet maybe it will change in future but as of 2024 feb the focus for me as a data analyst is understanding various players in the ai workspace and using them for my work so that i can do better the main things that i'm focusing are how to use chat gpt and how to use tools like copilot so that i can be more productive more valuable to the organizations so those are the seven technologies or tech stack that i think a data analyst needs to be successful in 2024 what do you think do you think there is more to learn or do you agree with my views let me know in the comments also if you want to now that you know what technologies are needed learn some of these technologies check out the data analysis playlist that shows up on the screen or watch the power query video which is one of the more common and foundational aspects of data analysis in my opinion and learn that skill and use it for your work i wish you all the best bye